doing this kind of stuff is something I don't really talk about because I was raised not to talk about like doing nice things. And so this is odd, however, it's important because as we talked about, how do we learn to give back? Uh, like my father was one to do it individually for people. His father did stuff. And I don't know if folks that don't have that as a child, how they get it, but it's so important to be, to, to get the giving spirit and then say yes. As a church group in my youth, we would go clean up after hurricanes. Uh, and I guess it, it transitioned into uh, when the hurricane was down there and, and people from Katrina. I got a, a phone call in the middle of the night that uh, the National Guard was activated and they were going to New Orleans to pick up evacuees and bring them back to the air base in Smyrna and dumping them off. And a friend of mine said, we don't have much of a plan after that, but we're going to pick up plane loads of evacuees and we're going to drop them off at the airport in Smyrna. So they opened up the old boat plant. It was quite a lot of fun. One of the first people I met there was a sous chef from New Orleans and I recruited him to be a chef for the uh, shelter. And I said, so what do you need? And he told me what he needed and we were on a mission to set up a kitchen at the book factory. When Waverly happened, uh, Larry and his mobile griddle go. And so I said, well, I'll go. So we had this menu and we set it up and um, cooked spaghetti. Larry is the best spaghetti maker this side of Mississippi. And spaghetti in batches and salad in batches and French bread. And then the side menu was lemonade and popcorn. Oh, I talked to these people who were so, they weren't as sad as I was about losing their houses. Um, you know, it's just sad, it's tragic. And you see the resilience of people. You see these families come together. The progression from the time we started going to Waverly to the time we finished our, what we call our mission there, the first part of it, you drove down the street and there were groups from all across the Southeast that had come together, church groups, and all they were doing was going from one house to the other and taking everything out of the house and piling it on the curb. The next week they had, uh, uh, they were taking uh, front end loaders and just cranes and picking it up and putting their whole house in a, in a uh, dump truck. And as much as Waverly particularly tried to be organized about it, there's just no way to organize all that. And then people would ask us, <laughs> who are y'all with? And we would say, it's just us. I mean, everybody was with a group, some kind of group, from Mississippi, from Georgia, wherever. I can tell you, this church has always been a doing church. Years ago, one of the founding members and I, we got involved with Nashville Cares and um, we took on a family and were with that woman and her kids until she died. And that was probably from the church, my first outing into a church without wall. And I guess in closing, if you ever get in a position where you're uh, having an event planned and the caterer doesn't show up, um, our menu is pretty simple, spaghetti, French bread, salad. sauce salad, and our new addition, popcorn and pink lemonade. And it'll take us about two hours to get set up. Just call us. And we are? Just us. <laughs> <laughs>